I'm Donna Wolf from Nastasia.com. Today I'm going to show you how to make a keychain out of a baseball. To view this video in other languages, just click on the closed caption link on YouTube and turn on subtitles. From there, you can choose from over 100 different languages. To begin, you will need one baseball. Baseballs can be purchased in the sporting section of your local discount store. They come in real leather, synthetic leather, or even novelty colors and materials. First, you will need either sharp, small scissors or an X-Acto or utility knife to cut through the threads of the baseball. The first couple of stitches will be a little tricky, but the rest will be much easier. Work slowly and try your best not to cut into the white leather part. Once completed, just peel the leather covering from the sticky inner core. You will get two keychains for every baseball. Use some tweezers to pick out any remaining red thread. Now you'll need some embroidery floss. Any type or color will do. Cut a piece about 40 inches long. Thread a needle with the floss on the one end and on the other end tie a knot. You can even double the knot if you wish. Now take one section of the leather baseball and fold it in half. Press it together. Take your needle and enter between the two folded pieces and out the front hole. Your knot should be encased inside the two pieces of leather. You won't need to cut the end, just tuck it inside. Now proceed as you would normally sew. Enter from the back hole, go upwards towards the next front hole, and pull your thread. And again, enter the back hole, go up through the next front hole, and pull your thread. And again, back hole, up to the front hole, and pull thread. You will need to go around the entire leather until all the holes are completed. With the last stitch, I like to enter the hole and then go through the middle section instead and cut the end. The glue from the underside will hold this thread. However, it wouldn't hurt to put a tiny dab of E6000 glue right on this thread cut so that it holds better. Now it's time for the hardware. You will need a grommet set. These silver circles are called either eyelets or grommets and can be found in most sewing sections of stores where the buttons are located. And this is just a plain ring from a keychain. We need to pierce the leather with a hole to fit in the grommet. I like to start out the hole with an awl. If you plan on making a lot of these, you might want to consider purchasing a tool designed to easily punch holes in leather. Be as careful as possible so you don't accidentally stab or cut yourself doing this part. I like to then take an X-Acto knife and make a few small X's to match the diameter of the grommet. Then, between the X-Acto knife and my sharp scissors, I continue to cut a hole out of the leather. This is what it should look like once completed. It does not need to be perfect since the grommets will hide any imperfections. However, the hole needs to be big enough to fit the grommet. An eyelet or grommet consists of two parts, a back and a front. Insert the back and the front of the grommet through your hole. Then firmly but carefully squeeze together to hold. You'll need to read the instructions on how to place the grommet in the setting tool, but generally you will put it in between like this and hammer down once or twice. Once hammered, try to pry your grommet apart. If it does not come apart, you are good. If it does come apart, use the setting tool again. If you have the keychain ring, you can insert it now. Pry open one of the ends and spin and insert it through your eyelet or grommet. If you want to decorate your keychain, I highly recommend E6000 glue. This stuff guarantees a good stick, plus it holds up to rough conditions, including moisture. You can get embroidered numbers in your favorite player's number and glue them onto your keychain. Or if you like bottle cap art, you can glue that on too. 
Or I found this keychain in my local discount store. Pull off the keychain part and just glue on the baseball mom part. Or you can add some dots or buttons in your team's colors. I hope this video has helped you. Please subscribe to my YouTube channel. Check out the description of this video for more information. And please visit Nastasia.com for more tips and tricks on creative, self-sufficient living. Thank you.